The development of the SK-105 Cuirassier commenced in the mid-1960s, and production was initiated in 1971, resulting in a total production of 600 units. The Austrian army placed an order for 234 vehicles, while the remaining units were sold to international customers for export. Among the foreign users are Argentina, Bolivia, Botswana, Brazil, Morocco, and Tunisia. Despite its advanced age, this lightweight tank is still being considered for potential buyers. The Austrian military referred to the SK-105 as a tank destroyer, although it is more appropriately categorized as a light tank. The SK-105 Cuirassier is built on an enhanced chassis derived from the 4K-4FA armored personnel carrier and is equipped with an upgraded French FL-12 turret from the AMX-13 light tank. The front armor provides protection against 20mm projectiles for the crew, while all-around safeguarding is limited to small arms bullets. Some exported models were retrofitted with additional armor. The unique turret design of the AMX-13 features an oscillating mechanism. It comprises two sections, the lower portion moves horizontally, while the upper part adjusts vertically along with the main gun. Armed with a 105mm rifled gun, the SK-105 Cuirassier features a semi-automatic revolving magazine autoloader. This innovation allowed the crew size to be reduced to three members. The vehicle accommodates two revolving magazines, each capable of holding six rounds, resulting in a total of 43 rounds for the main gun. The maximum firing rate for the SK-105 Cuirassier is 12 rounds per minute, however, its gun lacks stabilization, limiting accuracy while firing on the move. Secondary armament consists of two 7.62mm machine guns. One is coaxially mounted with the main gun, while the other is situated on the roof, though some tanks do not include the roof-mounted machine gun. The SK-105 Cuirassier operates with a crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver. Its propulsion is provided by a Stair 7FA turbocharged diesel engine that generates 320 horsepower. Variants of the SK-105 include, SK-105A1, capable of firing new types of armor-piercing rounds. This version boasts an upgraded autoloader and fire control system. SK-105A2, an advanced iteration of the SK-105A1 with various enhancements, including an improved fire control system and a fully automatic ammunition loading system. SK-105A3, equipped with a fully stabilized US M68 105mm rifled gun, a licensed version of the British L7. This variant features significantly enhanced protection. For K-7FA SB20 Greif, an armored recovery vehicle. For Hong Kong Dollar 7FA Pioneer, an engineering vehicle. For KH-7FA, FA, a driver training vehicle with the turret removed and replaced by a superstructure for instructors.